Okay, so after I lined my eyes, I went ahead and curled my lashes, and then I put on a pair of Ardell number 33 false lashes. You can see them there, quite dramatic. And now I'm going to actually use some mascara to bond the two sets of lashes together, my natural lashes and the false. And I'm going to use tonight uh, Max Volume Lash made by Rimmel. This is new. It was a buy one, get one this week, so I figured I'd give it a shot. It's got a nice looking brush to it. Nice thick formula. I like I like big brushes for my lashes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and gently brush up from the base of my natural lashes into the false lashes. Do the side. Don't need a lot of mascara to make that happen. And then I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom lashes here. Okay, so now comes the fun part, uh, putting on all of the different glitter that I have. And let me show you a few colors. I have a beautiful dark blue glitter. And then I also have like a reflex green. And then I have a sparkly black, which I could stick in my line work. And then I also have a hologram glitter, which I absolutely love. This is a reflex rainbow kind of uh, rhinestone-like, which I'll also be highlighting with some rhinestones. And what I do is I use Mehron's Mixing Liquid, which is um, it's sticky as it starts to dry. So I put a little bit of that into a palette, and then I dip my brush into the mixing medium and mix it with some of the glitter. And then it kind of creates an adhesive kind of paste. So I have a small detail brush, and you'll see there I've put some glitter on it. And let me zoom in. And what I'm going to do is go in you can see I've put a little bit on already in these areas. And where I have some of these teal blue panes, I'm just going to stick some of that glitter on right on top. And I'll do that with the black and the silver too. Okay, so I got the glitter on. As you can see it my eyes there, hologram glitter and the blue. And then also I've stuck some rhinestones on for detail. I'm going to zoom out for you. Uh, the way that I'm doing that is I'm just taking a pair of tweezers and then like a tiny rhinestone here. And then uh, Spirit Gum from Mayron. Just put a little bit on the back of the rhinestone. Just a little teeny dab. Let it dry a little bit. And then I'm going to plop it in the middle of uh, here. I think so. It there and then gently press it into place. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing, but and there you go. So I'm gonna stick a couple more of these on, and that should be it. Let me zoom back out, and I'll be right back. And here's the completed look: my dramatic stained glass dragonfly mask. Let me zoom in for you a little bit, so you can see I laid down line work, and then filled the line work with teal green, teal blue, royal blue, some purple, and on my nose some green. And then to highlight I used a silver pigment pencil and then also applied hologram glitter and silver and then also blue and a little bit of black just to bring some sparkle into the stained glass areas. And then a few rhinestones for a little more shine and sparkle. On my lips, what I do is I laid down hologram glitter as well, and then over that, in the area where there's color, there's a little bit of clear gloss. Uh, and with the eyes, I did the tutorial for the eyes alone in part one. I just lined them, went ahead and put on a pair of false lashes, a little bit of mascara to make them adhere. And there's a little bit of glitter on the lids too. And that is it. Oh, earrings. I actually, I did mention in my sidebar of my channel that I actually do textiles and jewelry too. So this is a pair of earrings that I made a while ago. These ones, so you can see these. And these are Swarovski crystal chandelier earrings. I thought they'd look nice with this, so. Well, thanks as always for swinging by and watching my videos. I hope you really enjoyed this look. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, give me your feedback, suggestions, tips, tricks, requests. Uh, you name it. Uh, I'm more than willing to hear what you have to say. Uh, I am so appreciative that you do stop by and that you do leave me feedback. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, and I hope you have a great week and I will see you real soon.